Hello everybody, Cyanesque 111 here, and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. Surprise, surprise, we're playing as the Zoltan Cruiser Type A for this run. We're on Sector 3, a civilian sector. We've got a quest to finish up. I actually forgot that we had a quest. The ship you were escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it without your help. Let me f let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you their wares. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of my defense drones. So I can have more scrap. And I already got one from the drone control system that I got earlier. I'm gonna get a scrap recovery arm. More drones. I need more fuel too. Can't forget about that. I'm gonna run low soon. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout has used a local lights local satellite to deploy a virus to disrupt your shield system. At least they couldn't take control of my Zoltan shields. Actually, I... I think I could have sold my Pegasus missile for something else. Please don't hit anywhere important. Oh, you didn't hit at all. That's good. I want to keep my Alito powered up for another time. You missed again. What's the matter? You need glasses? The ship explodes, leaving this. And nothing else. Here come the rebels. You are immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Welcome to Uncle Joe's Fix-It Shop. Need a tune-up? We got you covered. Effort to upgrade my piloting system in exchange for some scrap. Sure thing. I think it would have cost 20 to upgrade it had I done it myself. There's another store down there. I'm running into all the stores this playthrough, and we're at an asteroid field. I doubt this auto scout can do much. And I doubt I want to do much to it. I'll just let the asteroids do the work for me. Thank you in advance, asteroids! I could use the halberd beam to make this process go a little faster. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, I'm doing it. And there you go, you're down. The crew might take some damage from this, but oxygen is what I need to keep my crew alive. Get back to your stations before you suffocate. And get me out of this asteroid belt while you're at it! Only one other ship is this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. Greetings, Traveler! We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. I'll take a repair. I don't know if I want to keep the Pegasus missile or not. The Leto's description says that it is outdated and weak, but can still be affected. The Pegasus, on the other hand, allows for two projectiles for the cost of one. I'll... You know what, here's what I'll do. I'll put the Halberd Beam in storage for now. I'm going to sell the Lido.
buy some fuel, buy some missiles. I might need some drones too for the defense when I need it. Yeah, I don't want to jump yet. I want to heal up my crew members from the damage they took while they were repairing the oxygen system. They made a full recovery in no time. I don't quite have enough scrap for any reactor or weapons upgrades now. Not much remains in this abandoned system. However, scans reveal a nearby mining platform with some salvageable materials. Thank you. This helps a lot. You're hailed by a rebel ship. Oh. Dang it. They really have a defense drone Mark I. The Pegasus fires off two missiles for the price of one, but I think I think using the flak would be a lessened risk because it's several projectiles firing off at the same time. And I think it would do more damage to the ship. That is, if it's aimed right. This should finish it off, I hope. No, it doesn't. Yet. It took out this drone, at least. But I'm gonna save my missiles for a later fight. Preferably with the flagship at the end. Jump a minute? Okay. You did it. We have room for one more upgrade of the weapon system. I should go into the nebula to slow down the rebels' pursuit. Nothing happens here. Is anything gonna happen? Another ion storm. Automated Rebel Scout. I'm running into all the stores and ion storms in this game, I take it. My Zoltan shield should be sufficient in this fight. That's it for my shields. In my fourth Kestrel A run, I don't remember running into Ion Storms this much. I felt like I needed to burp for a second. But thankfully, it was only small. They've disabled my oxygen temporarily, but I don't think that's going to matter. Well, it took out their shields at least. Well, you didn't hit anywhere important at least. This is... this is a really slow battle. Look, Ma. No shields. You'd run a risk if you didn't have shields activated. I wasn't able to activate them. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. I've learned my lesson from choosing number three. I'm going to attack him.
He has anti-drone drones. They're not going to do anything against my missile or flak weapons, but they're definitely going to be a problem for any attack drones that I have, which I don't. I have none. It took out their shields. You can't get through my shield plate. Beam. No. I I still remember what the incidents that we've had for me purchasing an unknown weapon for 45 scrap. I'm not going to be trusting you for a long time. This last shot should probably do it. I hope. There we go. I think I, I think I have time for going into an asteroid field. No, I think I have one more. I have time for one or two more jumps to other beacons near the exit beacon. My med base on fire. Which I don't like. Is at 75% now. You are considerably well more armed than I thought. More well armed than I thought. We surrender. No! There's a fire again. Where is it now? Where is it now? It's not in the sensors room. I know that much. It was right next to the sensors room and in the weapons room too. Oh, dear me. Please put those fires out before it gets any worse. There we go. Need to get everything repaired before all else. my weapons. I think I have to go to the exit beacon. I don't think there's a way I can go to another beacon and then to the exit in time. You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. I'll spare some for you. Upgraded the reactor by one. So now I can operate both the flag and the Pegasus. Yay. Engine controlled sector is next. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. And stock up I will. You are immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? 
A space dock is under assault from the rebels. Although the dock is technically illegal within their laws, it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. And where's it at? Down here. That shouldn't be a problem. A small NG research vessel is trying to fend off a Mantis ship. You move in to engage, but after a quick scan of your ship, the Mantis ship retreats. The NG offer you a drone schematic as thanks for your timely arrival. Thank you for that. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small spacecraft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. But wait. There's more. A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for a sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Um... This is NG Space. Which do I choose? The NG Captain are delighted and quickly arranges for the transfer of the prisoner. With no other problems. Can't say I expected that. But alright. And I'm running low on fuel again. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you or else it is trying to avoid notice. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Fuel, baby. And there's the quest. Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. Engage! I should probably wait to use my flak until my Pegasus missiles have destroyed their shield system. If I had one more level of power to drones, I would have only boarding active. If I had five, I would have defense one and boarding active. Thank you. Shields critical again. There we go. Crew member has almost died. I'll have them get to work repairing that. The outpost hails you. Thank you! I don't know what we did to anger the rebels, but they were ready to kill us! I'll show you our goods and patch up your hole. 44 scrap and 5 hole points repaired. I'll spend some scrap to repair the rest, thank you very much. Buy some drones, since they could be useful in the future. And I want to spend some of my scrap to... to get my boarding drone active. I want to see it wreak havoc on some enemy ships. They're not going to know what's going to come to them. Wait. No enemy ship, but but I have but I meet the requirements to get it active. Now I do. You find a mantis ship harrying a small squad of NG. They make it to the node and jump off, leaving you toe to toe with their pursuer. I'm gonna have my new boarding drone pursue you. And I think it stops them from using the teleporter, if they so choose to fight the drone. Oh wait, 
Not in an empty room. And it took out their teleporter system. Well, the boarding drone served at least as a distraction. Ship explodes, leaving this. I'm gonna play it safe and get another level of shield going. get to the store, I'd have to go up, go down, and to the exit beacon. The NGR are waiting, are waiting over the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the NG. Multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference. They insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. No, you don't. The NG be damned. No one threatens your ship. They have anti-drone drones, so boarding isn't going to be an option. them to fully charge up before firing again, because drones, I think this should take care of them, and it does. With the ship destroyed, you detect that the virus has abandoned your ship and disappeared somewhere within the systems of the wreckage. It will likely infect whatever NG ship it passes next, but your mission is too vital to risk reinfection by stopping it. want to see what they have at the store, at least. They don't really have anything good that I want to buy. But I do want to buy some more of their fuel and drones, at least. Or were those missiles that I bought I don't know. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You jump into a sector filled with civilian activity. You're, you scan the various advertisement channels while waiting for your FPL to charge, and are intrigued by a gray market shipwright. Nah, not gonna do it. There's a distress beacon, but I don't wanna do it. Rock Home Worlds. The Rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Well, what I can count on is the end of this video. I'm doing better than I thought I would with the Zoltan Cruiser, but I think the Rock journey is going to have to wait for the next episode. So, with that being said, Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!